Hi all, this is Pius. So basically, as you all know that we had started a series on self-study history optional and in that particular series we have done couple of videos and there is a pattern that we have been following in this series, right? So what we have done so far, we have discussed about the ancient India and while talking about ancient India, first like you know we talked about the important areas of ancient Indian history. Important in which regard? Important like you know with respect to basically the UPSC civil services examination. And as per that, we just tried to understand ki uh, like you know UPSC is whether following the same pattern or certain changes are there and frankly speaking you can definitely notice certain changes in that like you know if we'll try to analyze the nature of questions which are being asked in past few years in that case it's very different from like you know four or five years back so it is depending on couple of factors or let's say multiple factors so the way we like you know discuss about the ancient Indian important topics and then we talked about the relevant readings as per the changing scenario the same we are going to discuss for now paper uh, like paper 1 and part B right so like you know earlier what we have done we have just basically discussed about like you know uh, part A and now we are going to discuss about the part B that is precisely on medieval India so before I like you know go to the further analysis I would like to talk something about the changing pattern of the important areas of medieval India now that's that is a greater misconception and what is that misconception that actually in medieval India still very simple kind of questions are being asked though I am not convinced at all with this particular uh, idea that the question or the pattern of the questions do remain very similar. Rather I believe if you will try to notice like you know seriously in that case you may find that there are changes and in fact there are some very critical changes that could like you know that could be noticed in the medieval Indian papers. First of all if you will see the distribution of the questions right in that case you may find that there are couple of topics which are given more weightage by UPSC and in fact while doing so I have just taken like you know in the previous way uh, the way we have done it in the previous uh, like you know previous dis discussions like here also we have like you know tried to identify that what are the areas from the syllabus which are given more importance like you know in framing questions in that case this diagram like you know can literally help you because if you'll, you know see this particular diagram in that case you can find that there are certain bigger blocks and certain are very smaller blocks and what are these bigger blocks in that case like you know let's start from here that this 13th century Delhi Sultanate and 13th century Delhi Sultanate you may find that yes there is a sort of impact of 13th century like you know uh, Delhi Sultanate 12% questions have been asked in past like you know 5 years. In the same way there is an another bigger block and this block is basically 18% as you can see and what is this? This is economy culture in 16 economy and culture in 16 and 17th century so questions have been asked like 18 percent questions have been asked from this part now look at this particular percentage that is 17 percentage and what is this particular topic is the society culture economy in 13th and 14th century so really look at like you know this particular pattern here so as far as the medieval questions are concerned you can find that economy and culture like you know again you can find here economy culture and society these are two different domains which are given more weightage by UPSC that you need to keep in mind and mind you within this also you can find a pattern that they have started following and I will tell you the reason also that why they have been doing so that also we will discuss but then apart from this there are certain percentage like 10 percent right or 10 percent what are these topics from where the questions are being asked such as like you know the culture in the Mughals that is one topic like you know that is the culture in the Mughals in the same way we can find the 10 percent questions are being asked from the Mughal empire also. So there are uh, like you know these are these are the topics which are very popular and in fact whenever it comes to medieval India you all know that like you know these are the core areas of the medieval India but then like you know here the questions are being asked from uh, let us say the questions are being asked from this part also right. One more thing that you have to keep in mind when it comes to economy culture in 16th and 17th century like what thing you need to keep in mind that this is the topic which is even including the Bijanagar and Bahamani and right now Bijanagar remains very important in, in history in Indian history and that is why you need to keep a sort of like you know uh, uh, greater track on, on Bijanagar that also you have to keep in mind. Apart from that you can find the questions from 13th century Delhi Sultanate, 15th and early 16th century right and then it comes to Ahom Kingdom 14th century is there, 18th century is there right and the Marathas are there. 
Achha, one more thing that is very important like you know that is 18th century that you need to keep in mind and why I am saying that 18th century remains very important yes if you will see the questions in that case you will find good number of questions are even even being asked from 18th century and in fact there is a pattern that could be noticed of increasing number of questions from 18th century. So please try to like you know observe these kind of thing. So do not try to prepare randomly okay, medieval India hai, medieval Indian ke celebrates mein jo hai, eh, sultanat aati hai, Mughal aati hai, Vijayanagar aur Bahmani aati hai, let us prepare these part and that is how our prepare is, uh, preparation is over. If you have been doing or if you have been preparing in this particular way in that case definitely you would not be able to score very good at least in paper 1 and that is why keep a track over these kind of things right. So let us like you know see it further. And for doing uh, for this, I will be getting into or I will be going to the next slide. And what is this? This is the questions distribution right from 2013 to basically 2023. And here like you know what I have done like in the first here I have like you know uh, this blue color is basic blue uh, color is indicating 2013 to 16 questions like you know this color is from se uh, 17 to 20 questions right. And then when it comes to <coughs> yeah when it comes to uh, this color that is indicating about 2021 to 23 questions okay fine. Now if we will see the changing pattern of the questions like you know in past few years that I have divided into three categories in that case you will find that as far as this Delhi uh, 13th century Delhi Sultanate is concerned from here you will find a changing pattern right it is increasing trend of questions. Now that number is not too much in last 10 years but yet the pattern you can notice very easily right. Now as far as this 14th century is concerned, so from here more or less you will find that similar number of questions are being asked. So a kind of continuity can be noticed over here. When it comes to this particular topic, a greater fluctuation can be noticed here. So there are like in a few years, in fact in the middle that is 2000 uh, like 17 to 20. In this particular period you can find that this graph was going like you know uh, 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 very up. And then in fact next year like you know in the next round or like from 21 to 23 that number of questions are getting down. But then this does not mean that in future also the same pattern will be repeated. I am just telling you that what is the trend which is being followed by UPSC. When it comes to 15th and 16th century from here earlier good number of questions were being asked but then this is like you know in this declining pattern okay fine. So look at this pattern here like you know look at this pattern here look at this pattern here. And then when it comes to this like you know there is a declining number of questions and then it comes to Mughal Empire from this particular part we will find that more or less there is a continuity that has been noticed that can be noticed from like you know uh, from this particular topic or in this particular topic okay. And when we go further in that case like you know this is a home kingdom though I cannot say that like you know frequent questions are being asked from the a home kingdom. But I am telling you that in past few years there are so many publications on Ahom Kingdom and in fact due to some political reasons, due to some historical reasons since more importance had been given to the like you know Ahom Kingdom and that is why in future you can expect like you know frequent questions from the Ahom Kingdom. When I am saying frequent questions from the Ahom Kingdom that does not mean ki every year you find a question because of course there is a limitation of the content right. You, it cannot be expected from you that you have been collecting so much information on a home kingdom that every year like you know different dimensions are being asked and you are answering it. Of course there are there would be some limited dimensions but you need to prepare that particular dimension and that is how I have kept it separately though it is not given in directly in the syllabus but still I have kept it separately. Now this is like you know economy culture in 16th and 17th century. Though this pattern seems to be quite declining but here you have to keep in mind that in past few years since uh, like you know please understand this point very carefully that is a very important thing. Now earlier also economy, culture like you know these kind of things remain important. But when you talk about economy and culture both I must tell you that more number of questions were being asked from which area from economy. And in fact like you know instead of asking much political questions the UPSC has always preferred to ask more like you know economic questions on economy. But a changing pattern can be noticed here and here you can find that the cultures related to like questions related to culture are now getting more weightage in UPSC examination and that is why you have to prepare 
couple of dimensions of culture. And when I say culture, I'm literally telling you, I do not mean that I'm talking about only that like in you know, a society and all kind of things. Okay. The way you have seen that the questions related to basically literature and the literature, uh, when I say literature, like you know, different kind of literature, such as there is uh, like in you know, a Persian literature, then Sanskrit literature, then Hindi literature. So you can actually incorporate different kind of literature here. The number of questions are increasing from these kind of areas. And I'll tell you that why the question number of questions are increasing from these areas. And that's the reason I have kept this culture separately here. And you can see the number of questions increasing. The way it's going up, it is easily conveying this idea that how come the culture part as compared to polity or economy has become important in last few years, that graph itself is showing to you. So understand these kind of things because if you really want to score very good, if you really want to cross 300, in that case you cannot ignore these kind of nuances like in, or in the pattern of the UPSC examination. Okay? Then 18th century is in another area and the way I had been telling you that the number of questions are increasing. In between 2013 to 16, only two questions had been asked, but when it comes to 2017 to 20 and then 21 to 23, you can find four, four questions are being asked. And in fact, gradually you can find that number is shooting up sharply. And that's why like, you know, you have to incorporate or you have to basically like, you know, uh, prepare this 18th century in a pretty well manner. Now there is one more important thing that you have to keep in mind here. Ki when it comes to 18th century, what happened mostly that questions pertaining to 18th century or from 18th century were mostly being asked in the medieval part, uh, sorry, modern area or the modern part of the syllabus. But now what do you find that they have started incorporating various questions of 18th century such as Maratha is there, such as Sikh is there, right, Tipu Sultan is there. And and in fact, like they have even asked questions on Portuguese and all. And that's how we can see that 18th century in last few years had become so important for your UPSC examination. So you need to keep a good sort of track over this. And then finally, it comes to Marathas. Like earlier also, Maratha was important. And right now also the Maratha is important, though in one, like, you know, uh, in between 2017 to 20, one question, more, one, one more, more question has been asked. But then, yes, like this is also like, you know, a very important topic. So if you'll try to do an analysis of the questions, in that case, you have to keep in mind, right? You, you have to keep in mind these kind of things. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to like, you know, see one by one the various topics, right? And then we are going to do the further analysis. Okay, fine. So uh, next, we are moving to the syllabus basically. And in fact, in the syllabus, we'll be picking up the first topic, right? Now, <clears throat> The first topic is early medieval India, that is from 750 to 1200. Now when it comes to this particular question, I would like to show you first the questions that have been asked from this topic in past few years. So let's go to the questions, right? Okay. So when it comes to questions, <coughs> now as usual, the pattern that I had followed earlier, I'm going to follow the same pattern. The questions that have been asked in last uh, five years. I have just colored them in different colors, right? That you can identify easily. Ki, achha, ye wale questions hai, jo pichle kuch saalon mein puche gaye hai, to phir aapke nimaag mein thoda wo reflect karta hai, thoda wo uh, sustain karta hai, right? To aap dekhenge ki yahan se in logon ne cholas ek uh, topic hai, jahan, jahan se in logon ne question pucha hai. Achha, ek aur baat jo yahan pe dhyan mein rakhne ki jarurat hai, ek badi controversy ya badi conflicting si chiz yahan pe dikhai deti hai, ki when it comes to early medieval, you can, you may find one thing. That the questions from early medieval is being asked at one hand in ancient India, on the other hand, even in the medieval India also. And while teaching, I always try to make it very clear that why this particular confusion is there. And in fact, it is like you know basically a historiographical debate. Like you know, as per one school of historiography, historiography the period between 7th century to 12th century has been kept in which category? Ancient. On the other hand, and in fact, if you read the book of Upinda Singh, if you read the book of Ranveer Chakravarti, in that case, you all may find that they have been keeping this particular part in the as part of ancient. But at the same time, <clears throat> when you'll be reading the history, like you know, books of Marxist scholars, such as specifically uh, R.S. Sarma and then D.N. Jha and all these kind of scholars, in that case, they have been keeping it in the like you know medieval section. Why? Because according to them, the rise of feudalism has some, was something which has changed the nature of this particular period and that's how it should be kept in the medieval category. That is the basic difference. So the way Marxist scholars are being challenged by the other schools, right, that may be revisionist, that may be nationalist, that may be the like, you know, right wing schools. So basically this is like, you know, something which is creating the problem and because of what you can find the reflection of the question from this particular uh, topic 
in ancient as well as in medieval. Since we have like you know we had like you know ample amount of discussion while having uh, or while talking about the paper 1 part A and that is why I would not be discussing much about this like you know here. But then there are certain questions which have been asked in the medieval part that I'll, I would prefer to show you here right. So, chola remains very important whenever it comes to this particular topic the cholas remain very important. I think both logical bhi hai. cholas hamari history ka ek bada important part hai. Aur ab jo hai humne cholas ko due respect dena suru kiya hai. Aur yehi wajah hai ki cholas se thode alag alag tarikhe ke questions ye log pooch rahe hai. Ab ye padhte samay aapko dhyan rakhna padega ki what are the maximum dimensions from where the questions can be asked. So, whenever, whenever it comes to cholas earlier we talked about only one dimension and that was simply the local self government of the cholas. But then the history has moved further, history has gone much ahead and that is why now you have to understand that now they have started asking so many other questions such as here as you can see the maritime expansion right. Then you can also you can be asked the cultural expansion right and then their administration can be asked and in fact various kind of correlations among them in fact trade and commerce and economy these are the various parts which have which are very important for the cholas. So, whenever it comes to cholas their administration their village economy their society and more significantly which is not written here but then I am writing it here that is culture it is not even written in the syllabus but I am telling you that culture has become very important. So, always prepare this particular topic or aaj nahi pucha hai to kal puchenge lekin puchenge zaru ya mein likhe de raha hu that is the confidence what is like you know on what I am telling you okay fine. Of course, culture yaha pe expansion of culture bhi ho sakta hai aur yaha pe jo temple architecture hai jiska development hai that may be also asked right. So, when it comes to this like you know these are couple of things that you have to keep in mind okay. Moving further there are certain other areas from where the questions are being asked. So, there we can talk about such as like you know this popular debate regarding the Indian feudalism. Ye kal bhi important hai sorry kal bhi important tha aaj bhi important hai aur kal bhi important rahega right. So, feudalism debate ek aisa debate hai jiski baare mein hum abhi baat kar rahe the ki Marxist scholars isko bade dousre tarikhe se present karte hain aur revisionist scholars isko bade dousre tarikhe se present karte hain jaise Harbans Mukhya ho gaye, B.T. Chattopadhyay ho gaye, Harman Kulke ho gaye theek hai. Ye sare scholars hai jo bade ek dousre tarikhe se jo hai isko narrate karne ki koshish karte hain. Yahi wajah hai ki feudalism debate kal bhi important tha aaj bhi important hai okay fine. To yahan se aapne dekha hai ki 2021 mein 2000 2021 में पूछा, 2023 में क्वेश्चन पूछा इन लोगों ने, तो ये डिबेट रहता है, और ये इतना लाइवली डिबेट है मेडी अर्ली मेडिवल इंडियन हिस्ट्री का, कि हम इसको इग्नोर नहीं कर सकते, क्वेश्चन इसमें से 100 परसेंट आएगा, ओके, मूविंग फर्दर, राइट so, you can see like you know questions from some very prominent institutions of early medieval India. Now, again and again I am like you know repeating this topic even in the class, even in the advanced course. Main jab bhi kuch karta hon, main hamesa kehta hon ki is topic ki significance bohat badne wali hai. Ek to sabse pahle hamne already dekha hai ki iska incorporation jo hoa in Sin India mein ho chuka hai. Aur in Sin India mein hoon logo ne isse question poochna suru kiya hai. Ye medieval India mein bhi exist karta hai aur medieval India mein bhi bohat sare dimensions hai jahaan se questions poochhenge ye log. So, medieval India mein koon se aise institutions hai jis mein se question poochhe ja sakte hai. So, there is one question which is reflecting being asked in 2023 that is about basically the Brahmadeyas. But frankly speaking you know like you know there are so many other institutions which were developing during this particular period such as you can talk about the caste as an institution which is developing right. And in fact like you know within the society you can find multiple changes which are taking place and that becomes or that remains very important for you. So, be ready for these kind of like you know minor dimensions of early medieval which is undoubtedly uh, 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 undoubtedly playing very significant role right. Next it comes to the culture tradition in India 750 to 112 uh, sorry 1200 AD right this is the second topic. Now again this particular topic remains very important. Ab question ye kaha se poochhenge matlab isme ancient mein poochhenge ya medieval mein poochhenge wo hume nahi pata hai. Toh hume jab bhi hum prepare karte hai toh hume dono hi perspective se prepare karke rakhna chahiye and we should be mentally ready that if the questions are being asked from any of the like you know in any of the topics or in any, any of the sections we are ready to write the answers of these questions. Now this is one area where you can find that basically uh, yeah. What is the major development when it comes to like you know this particular topic what are the major developments right. So, the major developments could be noticed like you know in philosophy and whenever it comes to philosophy there are several acharyas which had been playing very important role right acharyas. 
Now, it's not only about Sankara charge, it's simultaneously about Ramanuja charge, Madhva charge, Nimbaka charge and so on. But theek hai, sab mein se questions nahi poochhenge aap se. Kya important hai aapke liye Sankara charge aur Ramanuja charge, jo aapke syllabus mein bhi and Madhva charge as well, right? Jo aapke syllabus mein bhi de rikha hai. Agar aapke syllabus mein ye diya hua hai, to bhoat obvious si baat hai ki is mein se question frame ho sakta hai. Jis tarikhe se aapne dekha hai ki ab UPAC bade minor dimensions ko uthaakke questions bana rahi hai. So I think now you cannot dare to skip these kind of paths. And here, I'm telling you that at one hand there are certain topics or certain areas which are becoming irrelevant. On the other hand, there are certain new topics are becoming more relevant. So you keep like you know all these kind of things in your mind, right? So yahan se ye log question pooch rahe. So philosophy of Sankara Chaj. Pahle bhi poochte the. Aisa nahi ki ab pooch rahe. Earlier also they have asked question on this. But then there are certain new kind of questions that could be noticed here, such as like you know when it comes to Veer uh, Saiva movement. हम यूजली इसको प्रिपेयर नहीं करते ये सारे टॉपिक्स हम इग्नोर करते हैं बट मैं फिर से वही कह रहा हूँ कि अगर अर्ली मेडिवल इम्पॉर्टेंट है उसका कल्चरल डायमेंशन ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है तो हमें इन टॉपिक्स को प्रिपेयर करके रखना पड़ेगा सो इधर इट इज़ बीर सेवा और इट इज़ तांत्रिज्म राइट और इट इज़ अबाउट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड ऑल लिटरेचर में अभी तक इन लोगों ने वही पूछा अलबेरूनी पूछा या रास तरंगे नहीं पूछा है तो ये पॉपुलर है ये पहले भी पूछते थे ठीक है और अभी भी इनकी इंपॉर्टेंस जो है वो बने हुए हैं ओके सो दिस इज वॉट यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड एज फार एज द टॉपिक्स आर कंसर्न लाइक यू नो एज फार एज द टॉपिक्स ऑफ अर्ली मेडिवल इज कंसर्न ओके फाइन नाउ गेट बैक इन टू दिस सो वेन एवर इट कम्स टू दिस टॉपिक अर्ली मेडिवल इंडिया लाइक सेवन फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड And like you know the early medieval uh, the cultural tradition in India that's between 750 to 1200. These two topics we have like you know discussed. Now let's go further. Okay. Now the next quest topic is 13th century. Now when it comes to 13th century, keep in mind there are two important things which are happening here. What are these two important things? At one hand, you see the defeat of Rajputas. That's one thing. And with the defeat of Rajputas, you find the establishment of Delhi Sultanate or the Turkish rule. These are two important things, right? So whenever it comes to this part, I think there are very minimal dimensions from where the questions may be asked. तो मुझे लगता है कि ये टॉपिक बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड तो नहीं है बहुत आसान है जहाँ पे आपको क्वेश्चंस एक्सपेक्ट करने में या क्वेश्चन गेस करने में बहुत कॉम्प्लिकेशंस नहीं होने वाली है आसान है आपके लिए आप कर सकते हैं But then there is a different question which appears here. If you are also reading the same content, what is being read by others? In that case, how you are going to mark your answers differently? How you are going to prove your answers different or better than others? Now there are just very few suggestions from this part. Number of questions, yeah, for type of question, they are very regular. What were the reasons for the defeat of Rajputas? What were the reasons for the success of the Turks? Right? Then uh, you know you can find that questions may be asked from. All those people who which were responsible for the establishment of, like you know, uh, Delhi Sultanate, yeah, that precisely includes uh, Iltutamis, right? And then followed by uh, Balban and all. यही सारे टॉपिक्स हैं जो इम्पॉर्टेंट है इनके क्या डायमेंशन है वो भी आपको बहुत अच्छे से पता है तो आई वोट लाइक यू नो वेस्ट योर टाइम डिस्कसिंग ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग बिकॉज हियर आई बिलीव दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग और अगर आपको नहीं समझ में आ रहा तो फिर लाइक नो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एन अनदर सीरीज एंड इन दैट सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप टॉपिक्स वन बाय वन एंड विल बी डिस्कसिंग कि वॉट आर द एरियाज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द ऑप्शनल जो बहुत जल्दी हम शुरू करने वाले हैं जिसमें हम बहुत छोटे छोटे लेक्चर्स रखेंगे दस मिनट की पंद्रह मिनट की और जिसमें मैं ये बताऊंगा कि अगर आप इसी को जी एस के परस्पेक्टिव से पढ़ रहे हैं तो किस पार्ट्स पर आपको फोकस किन पार्ट्स पर फोकस करना चाहिए और इन्हीं को अगर आप ऑप्शनल के परस्पेक्टिव से पढ़ रहे हैं तो किन पार्ट्स पर आपको फोकस करना चाहिए वो हम डिस्कस करेंगे राइट फॉर द टाइम बिंग हम जस्ट स्किपिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट सो हेयर लाइक यू नो यू कैन फाइंड द क्वेश्चन राइट रिपीटेड काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर बींग आस and like you know these are the questions so uh, they it's about basically the defeat the same kind of question that had been discussing so here you have to be ready with the general content and just to make your content specific i must tell you that you need to have some specific preparation and what is this jab bhi aap yaha answer likhte hain to develop this habit of means and the contemporary sources right now when it i when i say contemporary sources iska kya matlab hai iska matlab hai ki us samay information primary source aap aise samajh sakte hain ki kin kitabon se hum wo le rahe hain 
कई बार आप इनको बिल, बिल्कुल इग्नोर करते हैं क्यों इग्नोर करते हैं क्योंकि आप जब भी कोई नॉर्मल टेक्स्ट पढ़ते हैं इधर यू हैव बिन रीडिंग सतीश चंद्र और जेल मेहता जो ज़्यादातर आप कंसल्ट करते हैं या फिर आप कोई मार्केट में जो नोट्स अवेलेबल है आप उसको भी पढ़ते हैं कभी भी उसमें कोई कंटेम्प्रेरी सोर्स मैंसन नहीं होता है पर आप खुद सोच के देखिए कि अगर आप अपने आंसर्स में उन कंटेम्प्रेरी सोर्सेज को मैंसन करते हैं कि ये इन्फॉर्मेशन भाई हम इस सोर्स से निकाल रहे हैं दीज आर द लाइक नो बेसिक सोर्सेज फ्रॉम वर वी हैव बिन गेटिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन The quality of your answer is undoubtedly getting enhanced a lot, right? So that's the reason. I'll ask you to fo focus on more on contemporary sources. That's one thing, and of course the modern day historiography. ठीक है? अगर आप तीन, चार, पांच अच्छे scholars के views यहाँ पे जमा करते हैं और again मैं आपसे एक बात कह रहा हूँ. मिडीवल इंडियन हिस्ट्री जो है उसकी हिस्टोरियोग्राफी इतनी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड नहीं है जितनी आप एंशेंट में पाते हैं क्योंकि मिडीवल इंडियन हिस्ट्री में खासकर अलीगढ़ स्कूल का काम रहा है या फिर कुछ पुराने नेशनल स्कॉलर्स का काम रहा है तो अगर मुझे लगता है कि आप पाँच छः स्कॉलर सल्तनत के लिए पाँच छः स्कॉलर्स जो है मुगल के लिए खैर मुगल पर थोड़ा ज़्यादा काम है कुछ कंटेम्प्रेरी स्कॉलर्स भी है जो लोग काम कर रहे हैं तो वहाँ पर शायद थोड़ी कॉम्प्लिकेशन हो सकती है सल्तनत में इतनी कॉम्प्लिकेशन है नहीं यू जस्ट लाइक यू नो हैव ए गुड शॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक यू नो command over couple of his scholars and keep on repeating them in various questions like you know this is what you need to keep in mind not no specific preparation is required so you can take it lightly but then you can make your answer specific by adding these kind of things okay let's move to the next topic so the next topic is basically the 14th century now again when it comes to 14th century let's go to the questions and try to see the you know uh, the questions which are being asked ओके दिस इज फोर्टीन सेंचुरी नाउ इन फोर्टीन सेंचुरी अनडाउटेडली सलाउद्दीन खिलजी राइट हाँ यहाँ पे कुछ नए डायमेंशन भी आते हैं कई बार जैसे एक क्वेश्चन इन्होंने पूछा था 2021 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन में दट्स अबाउट द कलजी रेवोल्यूशन राइट अब ये जो कलजी रेवोल्यूशन है अर्ली द आस इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्स दो इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बट देन वॉट हैपन्स इन मोस्ट ऑफ द बुक्स दे डो नॉट टॉक अबाउट कलजी रेवोल्यूशन एट ऑल बट बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट सा एरिया है आप खुद सोच के देखिए कि अगर एक डायनेस्टी है जो पावर में आ रही है राइट right. और उस डायनेस्टी का आना जो है उसको दैट्स बीइंग टर्म एज रेवोल्यूशन सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि दैट्स अ सॉर्ट ऑफ ग्रेट अचीवमेंट तो पढ़ना चाहिए आपको ठीक है तो एक खलजी रेवोल्यूशन बाकी अपने अलाउद्दीन खिलजी एज यूजल ही इज़ वेरी पॉपुलर एंड अलाउद्दीन खिलजी के वही ले देखे कुछ इकोनॉमिक मेजर्स हैं जो आपको ध्यान में रखना चाहिए तो अलाउद्दीन खिलजी इज इधर रॉन फॉर हिज एक्सपेंसन लाइक यू नो एंड वेरी वेरी लेस चांसेज आर देर दैट इनी क्वेश्चन इज बींग आस ऑन हिज एक्सपेंसन देन हिज रिफॉर्म्स economic reforms then market reforms right agricultural reforms and then it comes to basically his relationship with the mongols these are the like dimensions which may be asked i think aasan hai to jab aasan hai to hum apne answers ko specific kaise bana sakte hain wo main fir se wahi baat repeat karunga ki thode contemporary sources dekh lijiye ki historians kahan kahan se sources collect karte hain aur information collect karte hain aur agar aap usko quote karte hain to aapka answer yahan pe behtar hoga right okay सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द फोर्टीन सेंचुरी हम इस पर और ज़्यादा डिस्कस नहीं करेंगे ठीक है सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द फोर्टीन सेंचुरी ओके फाइन लेट्स गेट इन टू द अनदर टॉपिक सो वेन इट कम्स टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज बेसिकली लाइक नो दिस इज सोसाइटी कल्चर एंड इकोनॉमी इन थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन सेंचुरी ये कल भी इम्पॉर्टेंट था आज भी इम्पॉर्टेंट है और कल भी इम्पॉर्टेंट रहेगा और याद रखिए आजकल जब भी कोई नया काम होता है I can tell you honestly, right? There is no new work you can find in specifically in political domain. Political domain में बहुत कुछ करने के लिए बचा नहीं है तो ज़्यादा काम किस एरियाज में होता है जो नए researches है जो नई किताबें आ रही है वो हमेशा इन्हीं dimensions पर होता है which is literally dealing with basically the three dimensions: it's society, culture and economy. ये काफ़ी important है और अभी इसका reflection हम थोड़ा questions पर भी देख सकते हैं Let's get into the questions, right? so if we'll see the questions from this part in that case like you know 2020 there was a question from society then look at the questions from economy theek hai back to back in every year you'll find a question 19 20 20 uh, 22 further also like you know we'll find the questions persian literature se un logon ne question pucha hai 23 mein pucha hai theek hai uh, sufi movement of persian literature ko link karke 21 mein jo hai in logon ne persian literature ko fir se pucha uh, usse pehle bhi pucha hai to aap is yahan par se questions milega aapko 
ऐसा नहीं है कि वो पहले वाले टॉपिक से क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछेंगे क्यों क्योंकि दैट इज अ सेपरेट यूनिट सो दे आर बाउंड टू आस्क ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैट पार्ट मे बी इन कपल ऑफ ईयर दे आर स्किपिंग द क्वेश्चन वाई बिकॉज दे नीड टू जस्ट लाइक यू नो दे नीड टू आस्क ओनली फ्यू क्वेश्चन सो इन दैट वे वी कैन से कि दे आर स्किपिंग इट बट दे के नॉट इग्नोर इट फॉर एवरी ईयर बिकॉज दे नीड टू मेंटेन अ पैटर्न एंड दैट्स वाई यू मेक ऑलवेज एक्सपेक्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ऑल दोज टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम वे आर वेरी लेकिन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन आर बींग आस्क फ्रॉम वेरी सेट पैटर्न वहाँ से क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं ठीक है तो आपके लिए इम्पॉर्टेंट क्या है यहाँ पे कि आप जो है इन टॉपिक्स को थोड़ा अच्छे से प्रिपेयर करें क्योंकि अगर आप उन क्वेश्चन को देख के ये एंटिसिपेट करते हैं कि मेडिवल के क्वेश्चन सिंपल रहते हैं सिंपल रहते हैं आई थिंक दैट लाइक यू आर जस्ट लाइक नो सम हाउ यू यू आर जस्ट लाइक नो इग्नोरिंग द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस मेडिवल और द चेंजेस विच आर हैपनिंग आपको यहाँ पर ध्यान रखना है क्योंकि अगर किसी साल वहाँ से क्वेश्चन नहीं आया और यहाँ से क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं तो उस केस में आपके लिए प्रॉब्लम होने वाले राइट तो यहाँ से क्वेश्चन आते हैं ठीक है अब ये वो एरियाज है जहाँ पे आपको ट्रेडिशनल सोर्सेज में बहुत इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं मिलती है सो so यहाँ पे थोड़ा स्पेसिफिक इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको कलेक्ट करना पड़ेगा और व्हाट आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ दैट स्पेसिफिक इन्फॉर्मेशन एज आई एज 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 यूल इज यूजल यू नो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दोज काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक इन द कमिंग टू लेक्चर्स सो दैट्स वाई कीप ऑन फॉलोइंग एज फॉर द सोर्सेज लाइक यू नो वॉट यू शुड यूज फॉर फाइंडिंग और कलेक्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन दीज टॉपिक बट देन moral of the story they are important right so you don't dare to ignore it okay fine let's move into the next topic <clears throat> okay then it comes to the 15th and early 16th century the political development and economy now first of all you understand ki when it is about 15th and 16th uh, 16th century now when it comes to this period there are three specific changes that you need to keep in mind kya hai tino important change ek sultanat ki decline dusri kya hai the regional powers right and among the regional powers you know about vijayanagar and the bahmani they are very important uh, kuch aur bhi hai jo important hai jaise jainul abidin se question poochte hain par theek hai wo bade set pattern pe question poocha jata hai to lekin aap itna yaad rakhiye ki jainul abidin important hai सो so, ये विजयनगर और बहमनी ये तीन है जो बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट है और साथ ही तीसरी इंपॉर्टेंट चेंज क्या है व्हाट इज द थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट चेंज द ड्यूरिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर पीरियड नाउ इफ यू सी द फाउंडेशन ऑफ द मुगल एम्पायर एंड विद इन दैट और सेपरेटली एज फोर्थ लाइक एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द सूर एम्पायर सो वेन इट कम्स टू शेर शाह सूरी हिज रिफॉर्म्स आर अगेन वेरी पॉपुलर एंड दैट्स हाउ यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स यहाँ पे भी जब बात आती है तो मैं आपको एक बात बता दूँ कि अगर इफ इट इज़ अबाउट द सल्तनत एंड मुगल द क्वेश्चन आर इन द सेम लाइन राइट हाउ यू गोइंग टू मेक योर आंसर स्पेसिफिक आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल यू इन कॉर्पोरेट सम न्यू सॉरी सॉरी सोर्सेज कंटेम्प्रेरी सोर्सेज एंड देन लाइक एन एट द सेम टाइम सम लाइक यू नो सम मॉडर्न हिस्टोरियंस दैट यू कैन लिटरली मेक योर आंसर स्पेशल और डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर्स हियर दिस वन टॉपिक दैट इज ग्रेजुअली गो गेनिंग इंपॉर्टेंस इज विजयनगर ऐसा नहीं है कि पहले विजयनगर से ये लोग क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछते थे अर्लियर ऑल्सो दे हैव आज द क्वेश्चन ऑन विजयनगर बट देन लेट मी टेल यू कैटेगोरिकली हेयर कि नाउ दे हैव स्टार्टेड हंटिंग सम न्यू डायमेंशंस ऑफ लाइक एन ऑन विजयनगर एंड इफ विल सी द क्वेश्चन ऑफ लाइक एन दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इन दैट केस आई कैन सो यू सर्टन क्वेश्चन दैट हाउ लाइक नो दे आर वेरी यूनिक कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट हैव बीन आस सच एस द प्रोंग कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन द विजयनगर किंगडम एंड द बैमनी सक्सेसर स्टेट्स वॉज इन्फ्लुएंस लेस बाई कल्चरल फैक्टर्स एंड मोर बाई स्ट्रैटेजिक एंड इकोनॉमिक कंसल्टेशन राइट सो मे बी दिस वन डायमेंशन विच इज नॉन टू यू राइट सॉरी दिस मे बी वन डायमेंशन विच इज नॉन टू यू एंड वॉट इज दिस डायमेंशन विच इज नॉन टू यू ना दिस इज लाइक नो इकोनॉमिक डायमेंशन इज नॉन टू यू बट हियर यू कीप इन माइंड द कल्चरल एंड स्ट्रैटेजिक दीज आर दिस दीज न्यू टू टर्म्स लाइक विच हैव बीन आस्ट In the same way, look at this question. 2020, this question has been asked. Amukta Malleda dwells much upon the relationship of fort, Brahmins, and dispersed tribal groups. Comment 2020. Now I can bet you that you cannot find, like you know, the information on this particular topic in any of the regular sources. What I'm trying to tell you, these are certain new dimensions. What they have started hunting. Vijayanagar, आप के लिए important है. और विजयनगर हिस्ट्री में इन जनरल भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि हिस्ट्री में आप हमेशा याद रखिए कि ऑन एवरी टॉपिक वेर वी हैव मोर नंबर ऑफ सोर्सेस दे आर ऑलवेज इंपॉर्टेंट द सेम इज एप्लीकेबल हेयर मोर नंबर ऑफ सोर्सेस प्राइमरी सोर्सेज आर देयर 
and in fact good number of secondary writings are also there. This is the reason because of what it is very important and apart from that some other reasons are also there because of what it is very important. So, jo bhi hai, aapko prepare karna hai se, bas ye dhyan rakhna So, yahan pe aapko apne sources thode enlarge karne padenge, thode se uh, you know, extend karne padenge ki you cannot rely on the same regular sources otherwise you won't be able to write like you know a sort of good answer. So, you just keep in mind or keep a track over these kind of things right. This is Vijayanagar. Uh, again, like you know, there is a question from Vijayanagar, and that is also a new dimension. So, that is how, like, you know, it is about the decline of Delhi Sultanate. So, you can see that how many questions are being asked from this particular topic. So, it is like you know, it remains very important, right? Or, here, pe, kin kin areas pe focus karna hai, that categorically I did tell you. So, you keep in mind and keep on preparing this particular topic. Sources, hum agli lecture mein, ya next to next lecture mein, hum uske baare mein baat karenge. Okay, let us move to the next topic, okay. So, when it comes to next topic is about the basically 15th and 16th century society and culture. Now, when it comes to the same topic, so there more focus was there on political history, here the most focus is there on the society and culture. Now, again when I am saying society and culture, so everything either it is about Bhakti movement or it is about Sufi movement, it is about Bhakti literature or it is Sufi literature, right. Uh, the Deccani Urdu and there are so many other developments, architecture, everything is being included here. And that is how this particular topic remains again very important for you, right. So, if you look at the questions, okay. So, again you can find the questions are regularly being asked. Thoda segregate karna muskil hai yaha pe, isi, re, isi wajah se, isme se kuch questions joh hai, hamne oopar hi incorporate kar liya hai. But yes, it remains important and as I told you that what are the dimensions which are very important. So, let us discuss one again, right. So, what are the important things that you keep, you need to keep a track. So, of course, there is a rise of Islam, there, there would not be any question from the rise of Islam, but then definitely from the Bhakti movement, then from Sufi movement, cultural developments under Vijayanagar, under Bahmanis, right. And then cultural development in the fr on fringes of basically India or the peripheral zones, because har jaga ek nai tarikhe ki culture is se mein develop ho rahe, jaise for the sake of example, you can take Bengal, the case of Bengal. Bengal mein ek Bengali culture develop ho rahe is se mein aur wo ek ekdom se ek alag culture ki tarah uh, jo evolve karte. To yahan pe dimensions baat hai unke paas aur jis tarikhe se they have started hunting the new dimensions. I think it's quite obvious that in future they may ask more questions from this particular part, right? So be ready for this area. And I have told you that what are the important topics, like you know, what you need to prepare uh, in this part. Okay. Then it is about Akbar. Okay, fine. Now, frankly speaking, when it comes to Akbar, there are great possibilities of the questions from Akbar. But then, unfortunately, you won't find good number of questions are being asked from on Akbar. So, when it comes to Akbar, you should leave the whole way of political history. I often say to my children, don't focus on political history. Okay? And if you need a little information, which you also need, why? Because you need to understand the political understanding of Akbar, or the political understanding of Akbar, can you help you to somehow grab or conceptualize the other areas of Akbar, can help you to somehow grab or conceptualize the other areas, such as his policies specifically. And that's how you should know a little bit. You can learn from NCRT, but after that, then the policies of Akbar remain very important. When it comes to their policies, like, you know, his policies, undoubtedly his Jagir and Mansab system, very important. Then his religious and social outlook, very important. Then his Sulai policy, important. Like, you know, and then court patronage of art and technology, that's also very important. So, all these dimensions are important. Now, it's not necessary that is being asked within Akbar. It may be asked in any of the parts, but then it is important. So, here topic wise, ye aapke liye thoda jada important hai. Aap iske kuch segregate kare important topics aur fir unko prepare kare. So, aisa nahi ki bohat sare questions hai. Jagirdari aur mansabdari hai important, hamesa rahega, thik hai. Kyunki whenever it comes to the Mughals, thik hai, you always keep in mind that Mughals are uh, in, the, in, the, in the center of the Mughal system, the Jagirdari system was there. And the another thing which is making it very important is in recent times also like you know there are some good works that have taken place such as I believe that you might have heard or agar nahi suna hai toh mein aaj bol raha hoon aapko. Is mein do teen scholars hai joh aaj bhi bade prominently kaam kar hai. Is mein ek Mujaffar Alam hai, thik hai, dousre Sanjay Subramanyam hai aur teesre Atar Ali hai, thik hai. Agar aap Irfan Habib ya Mohammed Habib ko chhod bhi dhe toh aaj contemporary time mein kuch bade popular scholars hai joh revisionist category mein aate hai. They are not precisely falling in the same category of like in Aligarh, though they are like in a belonging to the same school, precisely Mujaffar Ali, like in Unlogone Kafi Kam Abhibi Spekare 
और इस पर जैसे जागीरदारी और मनसबदारी सिस्टम पर अतर अली का एक बहुत प्रोमिनेंट काम है तो इन सब से क्वेश्चन आने की पॉसिबिलिटीज रहती है यहाँ से एंड दैट्स वाई यू जस्ट लाइक आइडेंटिफाई सटल एयरस एंड प्रिपेयर दैम गॉल राइट दैट्स द सजेशन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ओके लेट्स मूव टू द न्यू एरिया ओके सो मुगल एम्पायर इन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन सेंचुरी ओके Yeah. Now, when it comes to Mughal Empire in 16th and 17th century, I hope you can understand that it's precisely about three important rulers. And what are they? Is Jahangir, then Shah Jahan, and then Aurangzeb. Three important rulers. Are. Now, categorically, I'm telling you that Jahangir and Shah Jahan, at least for their political history, at least like enough for their even economy and uh, economy and other parts also, they're not very important. जहांगीर और शाहजहां की इंपॉर्टेंस है कल्चरल पर्सपेक्टिव से ज़्यादा है और हमें प्रिपेयर भी उसी पर्सपेक्टिव से करना है लेकिन औरंगजेब का पीरियड जो है वो उतना ही इंपॉर्टेंट है जितना अकबर का पीरियड है क्योंकि ऑल दोज पॉलिसीज वी हैड बिन डिस्कसिंग ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ अकबर द सेम पॉलिसीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ औरंगजेब एंड दैट्स वाई यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर औरंगजेब वेल राइट and of course there are always the things are being asked with a sort of negative perspective but then it is again very important now as i had been discussing about one topic that i told you that this is gradually going to be very significant that's about the ahom kingdom that is also there in this part and then there is a maratha kingdom so aurangzeb right uh, ahom kingdom and maratha ye teen hai jo bade important hai aap isme sikh bhi include kar sakte hain हालांकि अभी तक इनमें से यहाँ से पूछा नहीं बट ठीक है राइज ऑफ सिख भी जो है वो पूछा जा सकता है सो यू जस्ट लाइक यू नो कैन प्रिपेयर बेट ए बेट फॉर सिक्स ऑल्सो राइट सो यहाँ पे ये सारे क्वेश्चंस हैं जो पूछे जा सकते हैं लेट्स सी देम इन द क्वेश्चंस राइट सो फिल सी द लाइक यू नो सी दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक सॉरी इफ विल सी दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इन क्वेश्चन In that case, you can find that they have asked 17th century the Mughal kind of the Jagirdari crisis. It's about the decline basically. Then Sivaji ke upar in logon ne pucha hai 2019 me, 2020 me question pucha hai in logon ne. Ahom pe bhi in logon ne pucha hai. ठीक है. And then this was a very very surprising kind of questions. ठीक है. Noor Jahan jo bahut dino se chhod diya tha un logon ne puchna. They have again asked the question. ठीक है. और जिस तरीके से एक पुरानी हिस्टोग्राफी थोड़ी रिवाइव हो रही है, जिसको आप नास्लस बैंक कह सकते हैं, उनका इम्पैक्ट है. क्योंकि उनके टाइम पे ये सारे टॉपिक्स बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट हुआ करते थे अभी नाउ दे हैव अगेन बिकम क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड ओके फाइन राइट लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इकोनॉमी एंड सोसाइटी इन द सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन सेंचुरी ये तो ऐसे भी इंपॉर्टेंट है राइट right? सो so इसमें ना सोचने की जरूरत नहीं ऑफकोर्स इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट economy and society in the 16th and 17th century and in the beginning of the lecture i did tell you that they are very important aur abhi bhi main kehta hu ki yahan pe jo ek general preparation hoti hai as per that your information is very less look at the syllabus the, the way they have given it so you can find that there are certain specific words they have used now population agriculture craft production they have specifically mentioned these topic and i'm categorically telling you that this these topics do have this much scope to be asked in a separate question nahi gaye hain in future jayenge in questions pe to inke liye thoda sa aapke paas readings honi chahiye jahan pe aap isko like you know you just have a sort of well preparation then look at the other topics towns that's about the urbanization commerce with the european dutch english french companies a trade revolution Indian mercantile class, the banking, insurance, credit system, the conditions of peasants, the condition of women, evolution of Sikh community, and the Khalsa Pant. Okay, that is there here. Sorry, I got confused. So now every topic which had been list, which has been listed here, I am categorically telling you that every single topic which is there, like they all have a potential to be asked in form of question. So basically, sort of very good preparation is required. and as i like you know you know that in the next to next lecture we'll be discussing about basically the readings pertaining to this theek hai to wo hum dhyan rakhenge iske bare mein hum tab jyada baat karenge agar inka reflection aap questions mein dekhenge do <coughs> sorry do abhi tak itna nahi hai but aane wale time pe hoga abhi tak bade general line pe questions puch rahe hain log theek hai but aane wale time pe thode complicated isko wo karenge to iske liye thoda sa achhe preparation rakhni hai and if you have some good source you'll be able to prepare it well that's not a, it's not very complicated as such kyunki wo sare naye areas hai jahan pe abhi kaam ho raha hai okay fine let's move to the next area theek so next is basically 
कल्चर ओके नाउ अगेन अभी आपके सिलेबस में कुछ नई किताबें सॉरी कुछ नए क्वेश्चंस जो है वो शुरू हो गए हैं मतलब आपके क्वेश्चंस में एंड द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन द पर्जियन हिस्ट्रीज अदर लिटरेचर हिंदी एंड रिलीजियस लिटरेचर मुगल आर्किटेक्चर पेंटिंग ये तो आपको पहले से पता था आप ये प्रिपेयर करते हैं ठीक है बट इन दोनों को नहीं करते हैं प्रोविंसल आर्किटेक्चर एंड पेंटिंग लाइक यू नो दिस ऑल्सो लेट्स से यू प्रिपेयर क्लासिकल म्यूजिक से अभी तक तो एक बार पूछा है उन लोगों ने साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज़ अ न्यू एरिया क्यों ये एरियाज इंपॉर्टेंट हो रहे हैं ठीक है अभी रिसेंटली देर आर सो मेनी स्कॉलर्स सच एस आप बात कर सकते हैं एबा कॉक की यू कैन टॉक अबाउट बेसिकली मीनाक्षी सॉरी मीना भार्गव की यू कैन टॉक टॉक अबाउट मीनाक्षी जैन दीज आर कपल ऑफ न्यू स्कॉलर्स दे हैव बिन वर्किंग मोर ऑन बेसिकली दैट कल्चरल पार्ट ऑफ द मिडीवल इंडिया स्पेसिफिकली द मुगल इंडिया एंड दैट्स द रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ वर्ट दे आर ग्रेजुअली गेनिंग मोर इंपॉर्टेंस ये कॉमन पैटर्न होता है कि जब भी कुछ नई किताबें किसी एरिया में आती है तो खासकर वो जो प्रोफेसर जो आपके पेपर बनाने के लिए जाते हैं सम हाउ नो दे आर गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स दीज काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स एंड दैट्स वाई दे डू रिफ्लेक्ट इन योर क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑल्सो तो ये अभी कुछ नई किताबें हैं जो इधर आ रही हैं और इस वजह से इंपॉर्टेंट है तो अनडाउटेडली ये पार्ट आपके लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है ठीक है थोड़ा इसका रिफ्लेक्शन हम क्वेश्चन में अगर हम देखें तो क्वेश्चन आप देख सकते हैं कि पिछले कुछ सालों में ठीक ठाक क्वेश्चन इसमें से पूछे गए हैं तो दैट्स अबाउट द पर्स इन हिस्ट्रीज इन द लिटरेचर हिंदी लिटरेचर राइट आर्किटेक्चर इज अनडाउटेडली इंपॉर्टेंट वो तो पहले भी था लाइक like, मुगल पेंटिंग से कितने क्वेश्चन पूछे सो इफ विल सी जस्ट फाइव ईयर्स लाइक नो यू कैन सी दैट हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन इन लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स दे हैव दे हैव आस्ट लाइक नो आस्ट फ्रॉम दीज टॉपिक्स ओनली द क्वेश्चन विच आर देर इन सब कलर्ड फॉर्मेट दे आर द लास्ट फाइव ईयर क्वेश्चन तो यहाँ से अच्छे क्वेश्चन पूछे जा रहे हैं ठीक है अब यहाँ पे आपको थोड़ी अपनी प्रिपरेशन दुरुस्त करनी पड़ेगी ताकि यहाँ पे एक अच्छा आंसर लिख सके क्योंकि कई बार क्या होता है कि जब पेयर्स में क्वेश्चन होते हैं तो एक भी आंसर अगर आपका ख़राब होता है तो उसकी वजह से पूरे पेपर पे उसके जो है मार्क्स रिफ्लेक्ट करता है दैट्स द रीज़न यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर वेल दिस टॉपिक ओके तो दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ओके मूविंग नेक्स्ट सो आफ्टर कल्चर द लास्ट टॉपिक इज देयर एटीन सेंचुरी एंड आई हैड बिन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लाइक नो दिस टॉपिक अर्लियर ऑल्सो वाई बिकॉज दिस इज वन टॉपिक विच इज गोइंग थ्रू अ ट्रांजिशनल फेज एक तरफ जहाँ पे अर्ली मॉडर्न का कंसेप्ट आ रहा है एंड दैट एटीन सेंचुरी इज बींग केप्ट इन अर्ली मॉडर्न ऑन द अदर हैंड लाइक नो एटीन सेंचुरी दोज हु हैव बिन कंसिडरिंग इट एज पार्ट ऑफ मिडीवल दे हैव स्टार्टेड आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन ऑफ मॉडर्न इन मेडिवल वाई उनको लगता है कि एटीन सेंचुरी के जो जितने भी डेवलपमेंट्स हैं इधर यू टॉक अबाउट मराठाज और यू टॉक अबाउट सिक्स यू टॉक अबाउट टीपू यू टॉक अबाउट द निज़ाम ऑफ हैदराबाद यू टॉक अबाउट द कमिंग ऑफ वेरस कंपनीज द एटीन सेंचुरी डिबेट मुगल डिक्लाइन एंड सो ऑन ऑल दीज टॉपिक्स आर बेसिकली पार्ट ऑफ दिस राइट और यहाँ पहले क्या करते थे कि अर्लियर दे हैड बिन आस्किंग ऑल द क्वेश्चन इन विच पार्ट मॉडर्न अभी उसको उठा के यहाँ पर पूछना शुरू कर दिया है लुक एट इन दैट इन फॉर्म ऑफ क्वेश्चन राइट दैट्स एटीन सेंचुरी क्वेश्चन so 18th century that's the debate and then the decline of mughal empire then the regional politics nizam se hai ya fir jo hai inse pucha hai they have asked ranjit singh they have asked tipu sultan they have asked the like you know uh, bengal other than hyderabad so that's how you can find the questions are being asked from this part maratha se bhi un logon ne question pucha to yahan se acche khase questions jo hai pichle kuch saalon mein puch rahe and look at the number of questions <coughs> if i'll go right लाइक लुक एट द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ठीक है दैट इंक्लूड्स मोर क्वेश्चंस ठीक है सो सूफी एंड भक्ति मूवमेंट भक्ति एंड भक्ति एंड सूफी से बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस हैं राइज ऑफ सिख एंड रंजीत सिंह द एटीन सेंचुरी विथ रेफरेंस टू द कल्चरल एंड कल्चर एंड इकोनॉमी देन मराठास देहावास राइट सो यहाँ से बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन से लोग पूछ रहे हैं तो ये टॉपिक आपके लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ऐसा नहीं कि देर आर लाइक नो सो मेनी न्यू थिंग्स विच आर देर ऑफकोर्स यू हैड स्टडीड ऑल ऑफ दम इन मॉडर्न but when you have been treating them as part of medieval the answer writing is something where you need to change your pattern little bit right and if you have been really doing that in that case i think that's fair enough theek hai thode historians hain aur wo jo contemporary historians hain aajkal ke historians jo is pe baat karte hain wo thoda ek important cheez hai jo aapko incorporate karni padegi hum jab readings ki baat karenge to hum ye sari cheeze us pe incorporate kar lenge so when it comes to medieval if you really want to enhance your chances to in, uh, like you know अचीव मोर मार्क्स इन दैट केस थोड़ा लॉजिकली प्रिपेयर करना पड़ेगा तो आप आइडेंटिफाई करिए उन एरियाज पे उस पर थोड़ा ज़्यादा काम करिए और ज़्यादा काम करके यू गेट और फेच बेटर मार्क्स इन दिस पार्ट दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम माई साइड सो थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू वेरी मच